Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. Today we're going to go to Korea for some K-beauty inspired drag. There's some really amazing drag queens in Korea, okay, Nana Young Rong Kim is one of them, and her friend Bambi Seoul. They're part of a drag collective called Neon Milk, and they have these really amazing looks and they're kind of club kids as well. This is actually the third time I'm attempting this. It's not as easy as I thought. So if that's something that might interest you, please just like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos, and stay tuned. Alright, brows and sideburns are gone. This is taking a lot longer now because of quarantine hair. It's a lot bushier down there. I'm going to follow three makeup tutorials because I realized following one was a little bit difficult because um, and following step by step didn't really make much sense. So the main one I'm going to focus on is the one actually done by her friend Bambi Soul, where she's doing a Nana makeup tutorial, okay? The thing about K-beauty is that they have a lot of very different aesthetics. So instead of cat eyes going all the way up, they prefer more bedroomy eyes that go sideways. Um, they, have, they have a different way of drawing their liner. Their brows are also a little, a little bit less arched. And Nana likes her sad brow, so we're gonna try to do all that. And also the lips, the K-beauty lips is a more of a diffuse lip rather than a very crisp um, Western drag lip. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my base on first. You've seen me do that a thousand times. So one mistake that I made in the early attempts is that I tried to go a little bit too dark. They use quite dark foundations there, but, but I found that the colours that they like to use didn't really look good with those. So I'm gonna go with a lighter foundation today. So a bit more of a fair Korean um, aesthetic. Alright? Dior is not very good for covering the brows completely, so I'm just going to go and cheat a little bit with some 2W. Okay, I'm going to contour with a much lighter colour today. So instead of my V21 that I usually use, I'm using this um, Meron Cream True Tan. Okay, folding the blender pointing it down. Feathering. Contour, so it's not so harsh. You know what? In the end, I ended up using all my go to and the rest of it. I'm going to put the rest of it. I'm going to put the rest of it. Okay, so that's the base shape. So now I'm just going to powder that with my usual super white. And Cody S. Pine. So my face tape's on and I bake for about 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, and I'm just gonna go for Nana's look. This kind of a very sad baby doll look, okay? And for Korean makeup, they like to use a lot of oranges and yellows and corals, very almost very natural colors. Okay, so I'm just gonna get started with that on this eye. Right, so zoom you guys in. Today I'm using my NYX Modern Dreamer palette and I'm keep, gonna keep with these orangey yellow tones here and maybe a bit of the browns there. All right, so I'm just gonna start with the yellow. Okay, and mapping out the eye shape. So it's a bit of a doll eye that goes like that. Okay, down and out. Then the slightly smaller brush going in the next shade, the orange. Just a bit lower than that. And then with another smaller brush, using the using the darker orange, just to deepen up the crease. Alright, I'm going to repeat that on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got that done on both eyes. It's kind of a like gradiated um, orange to yellow. And then I'm, I'm going to darken the crease now with a much darker colour. And in here, she look, it looks almost like greenish grey. So instead of that, I will be using, I think, this dark blue and right into the crease. Okay, just to map out the eye shape. Really funny colour combination you put together with this greyish blue and orangey yellow but I don't know how they make it look. Blending that out and then going back into the yellow just to brighten up. 
beauty. And now to cut my crease using P. Louise blank canvas, my go-to. Okay, and she. That person is not a dragon. I don't think it's a dragon. 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 And now I kind of know how to connect. Alright, I'm just going to repeat that on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, I've done the eyeliner on the other side and I'm just deepening up the crease. And now for the lower waterline, I'm going to use my white coal pencil just to line okay, and bring that a little bit onto the lower lid. So we're trying to go for a doll's eye effect. Okay, so for this Korean eye, we're, instead of going up, we're going kind of like out. Okay, and then using my angled brush, I'm just going to map out the lower wash lid with the same dark blue. Just tracing under that white and extending it out with that dark blue. And going in with this smudging brush, I'm going to go in with the orange just to blend that out. And back in with the yellow. So that follows the eye bag. Okay, and Koreans like this accentuated eye bag, which is called the cutie muscle. Tell you what, I'm going to also bring this down a little bit. Just try to close this off. Okay, so that makes makes it look like I have this really cute little doll's eye. Okay, and now for the eyebrows. Um, Koreans tend to go for this very sad brow look. As, uh, for, for dolls, you want the forehead to be spread out, so you want to make sure that this line funnels into the nose, okay? So the brow is going to start about there. In this straight line. Okay, it was a bit terrible. But you know what? This is powders we are going to use. That. Now you know why this took me three, three tries. Alright, brows to be done off camera, I'll be right back. Okay, brows are kind of fixed. Let's leave them for now and I'm going to go in with my contour now. So using my NYX contour palette, this time I'm going to use a quite a light, lighter shade, so I'm not using my usual contour shade, I'm going to use this warmer, um, ye more yellow shade, okay, just to lightly contour and no, not as much harsh lines uh, as, as usual. It's coming together and I'm also going to use that same shade to contour the nose a little bit, especially the tip. So she goes for more of a button tip. So I'll do that contour on top there. Just to give me a cute little button nose. And now going on the blush, okay? She marries everything together with a lot of yellows and oranges. So using my clown blush, okay? First, I'm going to go in with the yellow, okay? On a pretty stiff brush, okay? Just to give myself a bit of a base to go and marry this as usual into the eye makeup okay, and over the nose as well. Alright, and then going in with the orange, blend that into the contour. Just make sure you warm up the whole face. And this is the tricky part. She also has this halo around her lips. Okay, for the very for the very um Korean blown out lips. So I'm just going to use that and just lightly dab around the lips as well. Okay, and just to make sure that my highlights are popping, I'm just going to go in with these two highlight shades just to reinforce 
the center of the face. Okay, and then let's go in and reinforcing that yellow under the eye. Okay, for lips, we're gonna stick to that orange coral tones. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this sugar pill in Teacher's Pet. And I'm gonna keep that really in the middle of the lip. Okay, and then I'm gonna tap that out. Okay, I'm not gonna go too crazy with the lips, okay? She doesn't really line them very much. It's this really diffuse look to it, but I'm going to make it look like it's really shiny. So to do that, I'm going to use some clown white. I'm going to use a trick that I learned from the Rock'em Sakura tutorial. Okay, and using a lip brush, okay, I'm going to draw on this kind of a shiny highlight she has in the middle. And that's the top. This also goes right there, to the nose. I'm going over that with some of Jeffree Star and Wet Peach. Right in the middle. Okay, now I'm just going to pop in some lashes in the finished look and I'll be right back. And this is the finished look, K-Beauty inspired by Nana Yang Rong Kim. I hope I did her justice, she's so beautiful. Ah! Oops. So if you like this look, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload one of these crazy new videos. Alright, so I'm up to take some pictures for Instagram and follow me there at Wondersnatch. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!